Hey, what's up guys? It is Mark Yoon, and today we are bringing you another exciting video. So, my video today is going to be a comic review, actually. This is one that I have been looking very forward to for a long time. We're going to be reviewing uh, Venom Number 1 by Ryan Stegman and uh, written by Donny Cates. Um, this really excited me. Um, I love this team, and I was really going into this with, uh, with high expectations. And um, according to the first issue so far, they were met. Um, my, my expectations were definitely met. Um, I did pick up a couple of the variant covers as well. I'll show you guys a picture of that, of the ones that I got. I got the uh, Midtown Comics exclusive, the uh, yellow cover, um, and I also got the uh, the blank uh, cover so I can get it signed and stuff. Oh, I think I also got like another cover. I forget which one it was though. But um, let's jump into the review. So if you guys are coming from the older Venom series, the last Venom series, you know where Eddie Brock uh, came back at the end of issue uh, 149 and premiered in 150, then you guys know, um, I'm, I'm a fan of that style. It was a little uh, cartoony and manga-esque, but I really did enjoy it. It reminded me a lot of the old, um, of the old like 1990s uh, Mark Bagley Venom, which is uh, one of my favorite iterations of the character. And just with the movie coming out, it's just building up a lot of hype for me, so that's why I wanted to do a review of this on my channel. So what we have is, it opens up with uh, a very gritty look. It reminds me a lot of, um, of like, the old Tom McFarlane stuff from, like, the first issue of Spawn, or when he was covering Spider-Man. Uh, it's very detailed, very gritty. And, um... There's apparently, like, a problem going on with, uh, the Clintarian, uh, Eddie Symbiote. He's, um, he's taking these pills to quiet him, and, um, this, they're kind of like, I guess, antipsychotics or something like that, and the Symbiote voice in his head just keeps going crazy, like, every time he takes these pills. And he's, like, trying really hard to, like, keep him under control so that he can think, and he also exclaims that he's using the symbiote not at its full power. So, he's trying to pretty much to figure out why he's going crazy. Because he keeps on having these dreams of like a past that he doesn't remember. Like the Clintarian past. Um, and uh, apparently, you know, he's just trying to get answers. So, he gets a, a scoop um, to cover a story of, you know, jack o lantern and a bunch of like, you know, B-list villains just meeting in some warehouse. So he goes there to take pictures because he said that he actually calls the cops to go there uh, to intervene. But he says that like, and I'm not going to give all the details because I want you guys to actually read the book because I highly recommend it. But uh, he just wants to take pictures because he can't control the symbiote fully. But uh, one of the cops gets injured in, um, when they're trying to arrest the villains. And uh, Eddie is forced to intervene. But the problem is, is that like the symbiote kind of takes over, and um, and he like literally, it's not like Eddie in control anymore. It, like is Venom, and Eddie is pretty much sleeping. Um, he's inside of the Clintarian's head as his conscious now, and he's like begging him to stop and telling him to like spare the new Jack Lantern because it's just some punk. It's not like the original Jack Lantern that we know. And um, it just says that you know he's not listening, and he's having a hard time coming to grips with this. Um, so, he's in, like, this precarious situation, and he doesn't know what's going on, and he keeps hearing this weird language in his dreams, and, uh, when the cops, uh, see Eddie, they open fire on him, and, um, he's, like, enraged and engulfed, and he's, like, got a red symbol, and he looks, he looks a lot like, uh, kind of like Carnage, or kind of, like, maybe if you mix Carnage with, like, Hybrid, or of toxin, he's like the suit apparently goes out of control, and it's speaking this like weird language that um the the symbiote actually says is a language that like most Clintarian don't even know anymore. It's like a dead language they don't speak, and um it's pretty much controlling Venom's actions. So we have the police trying to do what they can, um trying to subdue him. Again, I'm not going to give you too many details because I really want you to read the book, but um. He keeps on, like, arguing back and forth with the symbiote, and 
Uh, he actually gets rescued by this guy that has Eddie tied up, and he seems to know a lot about the symbiote as he's, like, got him with, um, in front of some flames to keep the symbiote at bay, and, uh, Eddie and him plan to, like, take this guy out, and, you know, they try to sneak up on him, but the guy is not having any of that, he knows too much about it, and he goes on to say that he actually was once a host to the, the Venom symbiote as well, and, um, just... He actually, like, recruits uh, Eddie into finding out something. Like, he wants to help him with something. Again, I'm not going to spoil it. And we have them talking about it. And we don't know, like, what exactly is going to happen between the two. But um, they're t it's, like, linked to, like, the, the Captain America project, like, uh, Project Rebirth. Um, so we, wanna, we go into some of that stuff. And uh, Eddie gets more and more intrigued by this guy's story because he seems to know quite a lot. Um, and he's interested in Eddie as well because, like, he calls him his other and, like, we've seen him do countless times. But then he shows him, like, a bunch of pictures of, like, his mates that apparently didn't make it out and were taken over, um, because they were trying to, be, to use his weapons. And, uh, basically, I'm not gonna let you know the rest of the issue because I really want you to pick it up, <laughs> but it gets really, really good. Um, so, my ideas on this is, like, it's shaping up to be a really good story. I really like the the new darker, grittier, um, more like it, it kind of uh, pushes the whole like uh, fear level. It puts Venom in this bind that makes him um, feel like I mean he's not super OP, he can't control all of his powers, except for when he's in that crazy Clintarian state, um, and uh, what which Eddie describes as a black tendril wrapped around his spine. That's what it feels like. And, um, man, I don't know, I'm just really enjoying this, like, uh, Ryan Stegman's art really knocked it out of the park with this one for me, and Donny Cates is doing a great job writing, I'm definitely gonna be picking up issue number two as soon as it comes out, um, I believe it's coming out on the 13th, it's, it's like the second Tuesday of every month, so I think next month it's the 13th, but, um, I urge you guys to go pick this up, um, it's definitely, even if you're not a Venom fan, you might dig this. If you're even, like, a Spawn fan, like, you might dig this. It's it's really Eddie, as we haven't seen him before, um, trying to do the best he can to, like, protect innocence and be a hero while he's battling not only his own demons, but the Clintars as well. And they're both really just working together to try and figure out what's going on and go into this secret origin of the Clintar and of the symbiote itself. And we have these... Uh, you know, other symbiotes thrown into the mix, and it's just, it's going to make for a good show. Um, I really, really, really recommend this book. If you've read it, uh, let me know what your thoughts about it in the comments section down below. I want to know what you thought about the book, if you picked it up. Um, if there's any other books that you guys want me to cover, also list them down in the, com in the comment section below. Again, I know this is a different video. I usually cover fighting games, but uh, my original intention of the channel was to do um, comics, art, anime, and video games, but it just, the views led me in a direction of pretty much just covering certain fighting games. Um, so I'm really happy to do this video, even if it doesn't get many views, I'm still, uh, it's one of, Venom's one of my favorite characters, and this iteration of Venom is turning out to be my favorite iteration of the character that I've thus far seen. So drop a comment below, let me know what you thought. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Like I know, like I said, my channel does usually cover video games, but I do want to start doing some uh, comic reviews at least once a month, something like that. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to check out my friend Rich at Ragaroth Enterprises. A link to his channel will be in the description box below. Uh, go follow uh, Ryan Stegman and Donny Cates on Twitter as well, because they're like they're really funny and they're great guys. And uh, that's it for today, guys. As always, stay powered up. Peace.